Hello everyone, this is my son Fi and I am back with another Commerce Report Studio video. In my previous video, I showed how to create tab in your report. And I also mentioned I am going to show you two methods to achieve the same scenario. In our first method, we use JavaScript for refreshing our report. Now in this method, in second method, we are going to use drill through. Okay. And as usual, I am going to delete everything from my this report. So let me go on my report page. I am going to right click and delete this page. Again, I want from I want a report page. Okay. And this is our report. Now I am going to add a table. In my this table we have two rows. So this is my insert table. I have one column, two rows, and in my first row I'm going to add our tab columns. Okay, for this I'm going to again add another table in the first row of the previous table. Okay, and in this the number of column is five, number of row is one. Again in this report we are going to add five columns this one is the first second third fourth and fifth this is five tabs okay and this is my second report and again now in this method i'm not going to add text data i'm going to create a query and i'm going to use that query to insert item okay so let me go on my queries and I am going to add a query item and inside this I am going to name it query underscore tabs correct and I am going to add inside this I want to add data items and this is our for country and I'm going to use one for country. The next thing is product. The expression definition is two. I'm going to add another data item. This is year. For year, I'm going to use three. I'm going to add another item. This is line graph. And this is the value for this is 4 and the last one is our bar graph bar graph that's it and this is the value for this is 5 okay our 5 tabs are ready and now in my report page I am going to add all this so the first one is country this is a single tone yes and this is country okay okay the next one is the product i'm going to use it as a product the third one is year s underscore year Fourth one is our line graph. And the last one is our bar graph. Okay. okay bar. Bar graph. That's it. And the next thing I want to change the alignment. So I'm going to select the inner table and I want to change the alignment to center. Okay. Again, I'm going to add three tables or three queries and I'm going to copy all my queries from this report. So I'm going to inside this queries and I want to copy country query inside my new report. Go just here that's it and product query control c to copy and control v to paste that's it and i'm going to quickly 
copy the remaining contents from this reports so this is my page 2 I'm going to copy this 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 or let me quickly add the same here okay so this is my second report this is my data items this is my country query this is my product query and this is my year query I want the alignment for this is center I want the padding for this is 10 pixel ok so here it is the padding I want here 10 or 20 pixel apply ok I want to add two charts first one is our line chart the next one is our bar chart ok so this is my first chart and this is my line chart for country revenue and I want to use list one for this the type is line this time select this click on ok again I want to add another chart in this and this time I want to use a bar chart for year underscore revenue and I want to use list 3 for the same this is a bar chart click on ok so our report is almost ready and the last thing I want to add drill through so before adding drill through let me create the text box from for storing the current state or current tab so this is my text box prompt I'm going to add it just here and I'm going to name it p underscore tab finish from the properties I'm going to add a default value for this and where is the default value oh sorry I need to select this and now the default selection for this is one click on ok click on ok and now it's time to it's time for drill through so i'm going to select this let me save this tab report one select your country from the property menus drill through and i want to create a new drill through select your report this is my tab report underscore one this is my target report i want to pass the parameter I want to pass p underscore tab and the value for this is pass data item value this is important I want to pass country in this click on ok click on ok for product I want to uh, perform the same step create new our report is tab underscore tab report underscore one I want to pass the parameter I want to pass data item value pause data item value the value for this is product ok ok year drill to definition new this is my report click on open pencil icon select pass data item value this time the value is year same for line graph line graph and see uh, right now my singleton is selected that's why you are not able to see the drill ok property inside the property you are not able to see drill select this line graph this is a text item and on this text item you need to select drill through definition new uh, I want report tab report underscore one and from the pencil icon I want to pass that item value and line graph okay okay drill to definition okay I want to define the parameters I want to pass that item value and the value for this is bar graph okay and it's time for some decoration so I'm going to select all this and 
from the top I'm going to add bold and the color is black I want to remove the underscore that's it and the next thing I want to define a string variable or oh, it is already there so I'm going to rename this so uh, this is our tab control and if you want to know how I created a simple let me drag and drop another string variable and inside this I am using our p underscore tab as a display value and the next thing I added three values one for country second for product third for year four for line graph and the last five is for our bar graph not 55 five okay and finally I rename it to s underscore tab control okay so this is our original and this is just for demonstration of how I created this so this is no longer required or this is not required so I want to delete this select and delete okay now we need to define the render variable for each list and graph so I'm going to select our first list render variable I want a step display only when country is selected when value is 1 same for my second list deselect all 2 ok render variable deselect all 3 ok render variable 4 again deselect all 5 ok and our report is ready and it's time to run our report ok so our report is executed successfully and if you are able to see the value 1 2 3 4 5 then we need to correct the same our report is running so in the meantime okay so in the we need to correct this okay so for this I want to open report studio and now select your text item and the name is country select your text item and from the text source I want to that item value or I want to display that item label okay same for this I want to display that item label for here I want to display that item label same for this and same for this return your report and now you are able to see country product year line graph and bar graph okay the last thing I want to achieve is the highlight behavior okay not highlight behavior the selected tab for this we are going to use style variable once again as we use in this first method okay so again I'm inside my report studio and then I'm going to first increase the size of this text item and I'm going to use or oh, let me first create a border and then I'm going to show why I'm going to increase the size of this okay so this is the border for this and now I'm going to run my report once again and if you are able to notice right now I am able to see my mouse pointer and my this icon hand icon or pointer icon is available only the text item so i want to cover this whole text item in the free space for this i'm going to change its size and i'm going to select this text item and i'm going to change the size overflow to 100 percent i want to change width 
and I don't want to change height this is 100% it means it is going to be cover everything or the it is going to be cover width based on the parent width okay it is going to occupy everything every space of the parent apply okay I'm going to perform the same for all the text item so this is product size overflow 100% apply okay this is same thing for year size overflow click on this ellipse 100 percent apply okay line graph size overflow 100 percent apply okay bar graph size overflow 100 percent apply okay and rerun your report now our pointer is available for the full length of this tape okay and now we need to display the selected tab for this we are going to use style variable so select your for sale select your style select your variable click on ok from your condition explorer select fun and now i want to change the background color to silver apply ok double click to exit I'm going to repeat the same method now you may ask that this method is very simple so why you show us the method using HTML and JavaScript okay I want to show you all the possible method to achieve this scenario and just select the method which in which you are very comfortable and I'm also going to prefer this method the reason is in the JavaScript you need to ensure that whenever you are Cognos version is going to be upgraded then this JavaScript code is compatible with the upgraded version of your Cognos okay and if you are going to use this method then there is no issue with the JavaScript or and uh, Cognos version okay because in this we are not using JavaScript uh, I need to change the background color silver apply okay and I want to background effect uh, no, I want to change background color I want to change it to silver no I want to first define the style variable I'm going to select the condition 5 and from background color I want to change the silver click on product and why you are able to see this because we didn't save our report so let me save it first and rerun our report product year line graph and bar graph so our second method is completed successfully and this is your choice which method you want you want using or you want to create tab using javascript then use method one and if you want to create everything using cognos report studio then use drill through method both the methods have their own pros and cons but i always prefer the second method i only demonstrate the method one just for your information so that's it for this video if you facing any issue any challenges just leave it in comment section I will try to reply as soon as possible with proper resolution. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, don't forget to click on subscribe, like, share it to your friend and see you all in my next video.